Hi, this is Katie at Python 2013. We are at the poster presentation here. We're about to learn about data classification using Python. Would you like to share with us today? Yeah. Hi, uh, my name is Meenal Panth, and I'm the technical lead at a company called Morpho Detection, uh, which is right here. Um, they make uh, security equipment like baggage scanners for airports. And uh, what I do there is, as a part of my job, I have to um, do the diagnostics on these products. So to build a diagnostic tool, I use Python, Django, and R. Um, these, these are our products, and they use many moving parts and many, many different components, which we need to monitor um, every day to figure out this, the performance of our machine and how we can maintain them better. So what we do is um, every day we collect the data from the airport and uh, bring it back to the web server. And over here, I upload it to a Django-based dashboard every day after processing the data. And then I run a certain number of rules um, using R on that data and generate some, uh, some results which um, help us troubleshoot the machine. So the reason why I chose uh, Python, Django, and R is, uh, first of all, it's free. And secondly, it's, uh, it's, it fit the bill for this task. And um, with R, what I chose to do is I chose to build a data classification tree uh, because these days data is everything. Uh, however, my problem was not one which uh, Facebook or Google would face. I knew the data and I wanted to class, I knew what the answer would be. So I had to just map it into a classification. And that's why I used a classification tree called the decision tree using R. And uh, now with, with this data, once we get the result, um, after creating an R decision tree, uh, we can we can um, I can actually um, produce results which I can email directly to my field service maintenance people, and they exactly know what machine is an error. Um, I've shown a small example here of how the rules engine runs and creates alerts for us. So if this is, um, I just chose the terminator example. So say there are four terminators in a sky lab airport, um, you know, and, and T850 has some problem. So, so it'll pass through the logs of T850 and, and highlight what errors are which cause T850 to go down. And, and that's, what, that's what I created. Very good. Thank you very much.